Okay, now we go to meditation. <clears throat> Today's meditation is on Bhagavad Gita, the second chapter, the 23rd, the 22nd verse. The uh, 22nd verse is, is, uh, it's a, is a verse which is uh, got an example. Let's listen to Vijaya chanting this verse. Vasamsi Jirnani Yatha Vihaya Vasamsi Jirnani Yatha Vihaya Navani Grihyati Naro Parani Navani Grihyati Naro Parani Tathasharirani Vihaya Jirnan Tathasharirani Vihaya Jirnan Yanyani Sanyati Navani Dehi Yanyani Sanyati Navani Dehi example, a brilliant example is given to understand the nature of Atma and the nature of the ego or the body-mind complex. Now this Jiva is called as the egocentric entity because it is always looking at the body as the real entity. So the Jiva is inside the body, embodied self, and it is identified with the body. Now, this is how we all have to start our journey of understanding what is art. Lord Krishna says that like you change your clothes, suppose some clothes, some dress of yours has become old. What do you do? You drop the old dress, take or put on a new dress. That is one which we do. Suppo there is another time. Suppose you are going dress, for example, you use different dresses for different occasions. Office wear, night wear, sports wear, swimming wear, rituals wear. Each one is different. So you remove the old dress and put on a new dress for every new occasion. Shankaracharya, the Lord Krishna takes that example and says the same thing we are doing with our body. <laughs> Whenever we find not we, but it is the Lord. When the Lord finds that this particular body has finished the Sanchita Karma, the Prarabdha Karma, the Lord will drop the body for the Jiva, give him a new body. Exact. It is the law of prakriti. It is law of karma. That sanchita, prarabdha, agami. That law gives different, different bodies to different people at different times. Why is different given? Because you need a fresh field of experience. A fresh shetram is required. Using the language of the 30th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, the Shetram has is new Shetram is required. So changing the clothes is not a pain. Changing the body is also a law of nature, a law of evolution of the ego. So evolution and change are for whom is it? It is for the mind, intellect. Along with the karma shell. What about the self atma? Atma doesn't require the new body. Atma is always perfect because it is changeless. Body changes, mind changes, ego changes, but atma, the pure consciousness, it is the one in which whose presence all this are. 
going in. Why is the self changeless? That we will see in the next verse. Next week, we will see the next verse. That is uh, uh, this particular verse I will discuss next week. So this week, Vasam Sijirnani Yatha Vihaya Namani Grinhati Naroparani Tatha Sharirani Vihaya Jirnani Anyani Sanyati Namani Dehi. Like I drop my dresses, I drop the body and take on new bodies. Very beautiful verse to know that there is rebirth for all jivas. This is a pramana. If somebody asks you, how do you say that there is, there is rebirth? Immediately you should give this, this particular verse. The 22nd verse of the second chapter clearly is a pramana. Pramana means source of knowledge. Then it says that you drop bodies and you take new bodies as per the law of karma. Okay. All right. Let us try to meditate on this. Please close your eyes. <clears throat> I am Atma, pure consciousness. The baking steak is like a dress which I wear for a specific experience. The dream state is another experience, another dress. When I am tired of all the experiences in the waking and dream, I rest in the sleep state. This is a natural phenomena in this universe. The I which puts on the dress is called as the ego. Reflected consciousness together with the mind. I become a baker in the waking state. I become a father, I become a boss, I become a doctor, I become... And then I conduct the whole state. The transactions in the state belongs to the ego. This waking body is not seen in the dream state. There is a new body in the dream state. New sense organs. There also I see a different world. Whenever I experience world, it is through the sense organs I experience. Beyond the field of experiences, Shetram is the ultimate pure consciousness, changeless, unborn, pure Atma. It is called Thuriya Atma. Na Anta Pragnam. Pure. 
your consciousness is different than the dreamer. Na bahish pragyam. Pure consciousness is different than the waker. Na pragyana kanam. I, the pure consciousness, am different than the sleeper. Waking, dream, sleep. This is happening because of the nature called Prakriti. Atma is a non-material entity. which is the enlivening factor for the material body, material mind, and material world. What is the size of this Atma? The Upanishad says, Akasha, infinite Akasha, space, is born from consciousness. And resolves into consciousness. Consciousness is bigger than Akasha, infinite. No word can describe the nature of this consciousness. I never have the fear of death because I am the unborn, pure Atma. The ego changes the dress, changes the body, but I am not the ego. I am your Turiya Atma. Oh, 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 Purnasya Purnamathaya Purnameva 
वशिष्यदे ओ शांति 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 Please open your eyes. <clears throat>